Well, hello. Okay. So, <clears throat> here we go. So, let me tell you. I got to remind myself to look here. Look there. Happy Vlogmas, everyone who is participating, and to all of my subscribers, uh, old and new. It's Dr. Sasheen. Happy 24 days of Vlogmas here on YouTube. So, what is Vlogmas? Vlogmas is, this is, well, this is actually the second-ish day because I missed the first day because you know what? Life blew up. Okay. So, but it's the second-ish day of Vlogmas here on YouTube, but I'm going to call it the first day and I will just vlog until Christmas. Technically, it's the 24 days before Christmas. You go on live, live or recorded video every day <clears throat> and you talk about something that you think will be important. And I want to talk about things that I think are going to be inspiring to women who are starting their life after the age of 40 and think that life deserves to be leveled up, um, lived more fully and out loud. And so if that's you and you see yourself as a woman who really wants to embrace the next chapter of her life, then stick around for the next 24 days and see if I don't say something that helps you either make a choice to do something, let go of something, be somebody, move, remove somebody. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm recovering also from being really sick last month. Well, whatever the case may be. This channel is about positivity, inspiration. Um, I don't really do aspirational content. I do inspirational content. Um, I'm also pretty cut and dry, as a matter of fact, about how some of the corners that we're in are corners of our own making and how we can stop doing that to ourselves. Because I like to say things like, you know, the Trauma Olympics, nobody wins the gold medal in the Trauma Olympics. Like you might think that your trauma is the worst thing out there, and it just might be. Not going to knock you that. But nobody wins in the Trauma Olympics. So I want to create a space and a place where if you want to figure out what life could look like in chapter whatever you, chapter you're on, chapter 4, 40s, chapter 5, 50s, chapter 6, however long your book of life is going to be, um, come on in, set a spell, grab a drink. Sometimes I might reach from a book. Um, I'm actually looking at, and you'll hear my child in the background because this is real life over here. You see there's a, a light <laughs> above me. Because I'm using my ring light here, um, but this is my big daddy, granddaddy lights that I use when I'm going, when I'm trying to be all fancy schmancy. But it's been kind of a hard couple of days just to even get Vlogmas started. And so today's Vlogmas post is only going to be between 5 and 15 minutes. So it's one of the nice things about Vlogmas is that we're not going to be long-winded here. Well, we might sometimes get long-winded depending on what we're talking about. But tonight, not going to be long-winded. Um, but the past few days have been kind of rough, but rough or not, <clears throat> I'm still here. And that's the theme of tonight's live showing up half the battle of anything is showing up. And I was, I was, I was on TikTok, and I find it. I'll post it to uh, the community page. There was a, a young woman who basically was saying that women become invisible after 50 and that basically we, women just like whoop we're no longer seen in the world we're no longer out in the world we're no longer part of the world and i find that narrative to be interesting because that was probably more true before the advent of the internet and i think the advent of the internet makes that a complete and utter lie now we're still a, a youth centric society, especially in the West United States. Um, but with the advent of love it or hate it, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok, Vine, Snapchat, um, Tumblr, uh, so many apps and the niches that are able to form around those apps the idea that somehow anybody is just going to disappear because they hit a certain milestone marker is crazy. But more importantly, what this reminded me of was that a lot of women feel like that because we've been conditioned to think that our, our value lies in our ability to bear children when we're young and that it is our youth that brings us the most value in the world. But let me tell you something. Number one, most of us, we either have one child or we have no babies. Well, we had our kids and they're grown and gone. A lot of women, Gen X women, are like really happy that they're getting older. They are 
newly showing up for a life they never imagined. Think about this. 10 years ago, even, it would have been unheard of to quit your job and backpack around the world as a 40-something year old. 10 years ago. Um, 10 years ago, women were not starting their own businesses in droves after 40, quitting their corporate gigs, walking away from professional careers to start bakery businesses, accounting firms, uh, to go into production and, and become directors and writers. 10 years ago, we couldn't find each other because there were no gathering places of the nature that the internet opened up for us. We started showing up every day in big and small ways on this thing called the interwebs, right? Like I remember the first time I ever logged into this thing called the internet, not the intranet. I knew how to use that. Like we're not, we were not completely internet. <clears throat> but I remember the first time I heard the do, do, do. And if you don't know that sound, you are not old enough. <laughs> when I first heard that dial up sound, that crackling noise, that indicated that I was now attached to something. I didn't know what it meant. None of us knew what it was. But here's the thing about Gen X. This is my generation. We weren't afraid to show up. Like we were like, okay, what's this new thing? And how do we use it? Like we want to know, how do we use it? What can we do with it? And that's kind of how I want women to live their lives forever and ever, amen. Women show up. We've always shown up. But sometimes the narrative like we disappear after the age of 50, we're not as valuable if we don't, if we're not a homemaker or have children. We're not as important if we're not doing philanthropic work or if we're not being humanitarian in all of our endeavors and pursuits. Like there are so many narratives that box women in and then we don't show up because we don't want that narrative. So we just don't say anything. And the internet, this beautiful box that I'm talking to you on right now, has given women an opportunity to show up. Not only show up, but to show up and show out, y'all. Like to show up and be happy, to show up and get, get our hands dirty in ways we've never even thought of before. So for the next 25 days of Vlogmas, I'm gonna come on here and show up with you every night. It might be 5.30, I'm gonna try to keep it at the same time. It might be 5.30, it might be eight o'clock. I have a kid, you know, we'll figure it out. But I wanna start the series by saying, I showed up today. And it wasn't easy because I don't have my hair done. Uh, I was going to be all straight and pretty and all that kind of jazz. I was going to have lipstick on and I was going to do my makeup and everything. And I realized that I could continue to worry about possibly disappearing because I'm not beautiful today. Or I could just show up, speak my truth, invite you along the journey with me and say, come take, come take a walk in the garden with me a couple, you know, for the next 24 days and see if you catch some fruit that feels good to you. <clears throat> And if you do, share it. I'm forming a little community. I've got a journaling class that I think that you might find some value in. I've got a book club that might interest you. We'll talk about those things. Tonight, I just want you to think about how do you want to show up this holiday season? What do you want to show up for? Who do you want to show up as? Where do you want to show up? Like I was saying, the first time I logged onto this thing called the internet and I heard that Dial-up sound. If you're if you're Gen X or older, you remember that dial-up sound. And it was like, what kind of mischief can we make with this? We had no idea what was coming. But for all you out there who might watch this and go, yeah, but you all are dinosaurs. You have like Commodore 64s. I had the Commodore 64, okay? Okay? I was playing Atari, babies, okay? Like I was in there. I am an internet geek. I was a nerd. I'm still a nerd. But we were also fearless because Gen X kids didn't know how to be afraid. We didn't have time to be afraid of things. We were latchkey kids. We had to let ourselves in the house and cook our own meals and watch our siblings. We had stuff to do. We were too busy being old. We didn't have time to be young. But things like the internet and communities and people made us start showing up in different ways. So when you hear the statistics that women in their 40s are starting businesses in record numbers, that's because... We, st we show up and the world, as it expands and grows, we keep showing up. We keep getting out there. So if you're over the age of 40 and you have wondered, can I still show up? Can I still find myself in a world that feels like sometimes it doesn't see me or that I feel like maybe is leaving me behind? Ooh. Yes, you just need to show up. 
If you need a place to show up, I have a Facebook group, Women Starting Over, Life After 40. You got to be over 40 to get in. Don't knock if you ain't because you're not going to get in. And you have to identify as a woman. I didn't say you had to be born as one. I said you had to identify as one. Knock on the door and show up. And if you don't show up there, what moves you? What do you feel good about? What do you want to embrace? Like, I'm so excited to just have been able to show up today because it's been a hard couple of days. And I didn't think I was actually going to do it. You see my little witch's hat in the background? Always there. I didn't think I was going to do it. I had all these plans. I wanted a nice background. I wanted all these wonderful things. I had props. I have props over there and all this stuff. You'll get to see them. But tonight, I just wanted to do the one thing that I'm going to admonish you to do for the next 24 days. Show up for you. Tonight, I showed up for me. I hope that you join me. Again, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Leave me comments. I love to interact in the comments. But this is just day one. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet and to the point. But all my Gen Xers out there, if you remember that doo, doo, doo sound when the internet used to pop in, leave a comment for these youngsters. Tell them. We know what it's like to show up in the world that may seem like it's leaving you behind because it's moving really fast. But we keep showing up and changing the world in the process. And remember, you don't have to change the whole world. You just got to change your own world. That's the one that matters. What do you want? And where are you going to go to get it? All right. That's it. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Cicely. Uh, I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> That's my accountability partner. You need to catch her. She's doing plant mess. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, because I almost forgot to plug. <clears throat> Sorry. I have been really sick for the past month, and I've got my voice mostly back. But when I'm tired, it starts to come out that I've, my voice isn't quite as strong as it was because it hasn't been used for almost a month. Um, she is doing plant mess, and I am so excited. That we're going to collaborate and talk about plants, but I want you to also follow along with her for plant mess, blog mess over here, talking positivity, self love. Plant mess over there, talking about energy and alignment and putting your hands in the dirt and reconnecting with who you are. Like, y'all, we got you covered for blog mess. There's so many great women out here on Blogmas doing so many fantastic things. If you seek us, you will find us. If you want us, we are here. Whatever you're interested in, we got you covered. And by the way, I'll, when, when we go live together, I'm going to show y'all Frankie, my father, Dentro, who's over here in the corner. You can't really see it because um, I'm in love with Frankie. <clears throat> and I'm bringing it back to life because I almost killed it. That's for a whole nother time. All right. That's it. It's, uh, I told myself to keep it at 10 minutes. I'm over by two minutes and 43 seconds and counting. See you tomorrow night. Same time, same channel. Again, this is Dr. Sashin. Happy Vlogmas. Talk to you soon. Bye.